Hey filmmaker Shungni here. In this video I'm going to show you how I stabilize my time lapses when I have shaky time lapses from people walking around, especially if you are working on like uh, somewhere with wooden floors or like a balcony with wooden floors, especially people walking around will bend the wooden floors causing the tripod to move and shake and you would need to fix this in post. So first of all, we're going to import some time lapses. So here, import, actually go to another folder, grab this one and make sure on option where I have the image sequence turned on. So it's importing all the images as a time lapse. So when we're going to drag this directly on the timeline, we will be able to see, we can actually see that this is not a very stable shot and can see it's quite shaky, but there's not really any motion blur. So that's not an issue. So we can actually fix this in post uh, by stabilizing it. However, we cannot just put warp stabilizer directly onto here because it will cause this error because the image of the time lapse is much larger than your uh, sequence. So we need to remove this. We go back to the project where we have this image sequence. What we do is drag this onto here. What it will do, it will make a new sequence with just the footage uh, and it will be the same resolution sequence then as the footage. So what we can now do is add web serialization onto here and because this is a static shot without uh, any like uh, movement from the camera itself we want to turn on no motion so it stabilizes it more better instead of it having slight movement so this will take a little while so if you are new to this channel make sure you are subscribed so first of all a big thank you to the sponsor of this video productioncrate.com you can check out their website you can actually register and download five effects daily from their open library and if you pay 39 us dollars you can access their pro library for a whole year now it's finished stabilizing or analyzing the footage we can actually see the result of it stabilizing. So now we can actually see it's being stable without any movement. And if we turn this off, we can see all the shakiness or movement again. So now we go back to the sequence and we go here into project. And we're now going to drag this into our sequence and now we can adjust this size over here to the size that we want. And that was mainly it, how to import a time lapse and also stabilizing it. So that was mainly it. Hopefully you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos on this channel. If you have any questions, please comment below or join us on my Facebook group. There's a link in the description below and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.